have you ever been in a position where you really want to enter a trade but you just switch currency pairs or you swap to indices or bitcoin or nasdaq or crude oil or whatever the hell and you're like i don't even know what my pairs and my volume and whatever the hell it is and my risk so i'm gonna open up my phone and get out that app or that website and enter in all my entries and stop losses and then by that point it's already moved and it's just it's too much yeah it's too confusing okay well i'm going to show you how to do it inside trading view to make things super easy for you very 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 easy now the only caveat is that you need to have your broker attached to trading view so if you look down the bottom left hand corner here you see my my broker is attached to this it means i'm trading within trading view i'm placing trades within trading view managing my money within trading view there's a way of doing this without doing that but i do not know how to do it and that's not the point of this tutorial so let's say i'm in here right now and you you those things apply to you now you have the tool just popped up here spoiler um you've seen this tool before and you've been using it wrong let's just put it that way you see a long position tool a short position position tool you see it inside here in the predictions and measurement tools let's say i want to put a short position in okay so let's get rid of this one let's say i want to put a short position in right here and i want to target the be before the break of the highs and i want to put my stop loss here and now i want to say to myself oh one one thing about this tool is all if you didn't know you can work out your risk or reward as well again i'm not going to go into the specifics of that as of now um usually i would go for uh, at least a one to two rr risk or reward um, I would normally go for more but it depends on the next structure that i need to get to so let's say for this for instance i would probably target before the break of the high so that would be a one two three point four trade so that would essentially mean for every um i am risking 3.5 times what i'm risking okay the amount of risk amount i'm actually risking there's a lot of risking involved um so now do you have our trade set up what do we do we right click create limit order you'll see all these like your lot size you should not be risking that much and if you are risking that much you should not be watching this video um you can see your dollar amount and the risk of your account in total okay so all you need to do is put in the amount of dollar you want to risk or the percentage let's say i want to risk 150 dollars it's automatically calculated my risk based off of entry here stop loss here take profit here you are done you can click buy and it will set an order and you can walk away okay um let's say if i change this to 200 it will automatically change them so if i hit my stop loss i will lose so this is important to make sure you look at your how much you're losing and how much you're actually profiting to make sure this aligns up if you put in 50 here and it's like 500 down here there's something wrong okay so let's again say i'm risking 200 so i'm risking 200 and if i go all the way and hit tp i'm going to get i'm going to gain basically 799 or 699 super easy you're already done now let's say i want to change this around okay i want to do it down here this isn't going to update right click create limit order it updates put in your risk and you're done tells you your lot size tells you everything tells you risk let's say you want to use a percentage instead 0.25 percent you can do that as well if you like and it'll tell you how much you'll profit when you hit here and how much you lose if you hit here super easy now if you're the type of person who wants to do limit or do not do not want to do limit orders and you want to do market orders it's completely fine i do market orders instead the only time i place limit orders is if i'm actually away and i have a pretty big order set up um so what you need to do is right click on your chart go to settings go down to trading click the buy and sell button and the instant order placement okay now when they're done this will appear on top this red one is a market sell this blue one is a market buy the one at the top is your spread of the current currency and the one underneath that is your amount your volume whatever you want to call it which is your volume right here now if you notice when you change your risk and as long as this all um as long as this all matches up so again remember create limit order put in 100 euro risk my risk is here how much i'm risking how much i'll gain my lot size is calculated up here it automatically changes the amount of your lot size if you change this again to 150 130 0 0.34 0 0.34 easy so then all you do is set your your uh, alert and you walk away very easy isn't it that's all you do that's what i do for all my trades so again remember you need to manage your trade and actually know how much you're risking before you enter the trade okay it's very 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 important you don't manage uh you don't manage your risk and how much you're going to be losing after you manage a trade and the reason why you want to do that is so then when you enter the trade you're not going to be super nervous when you go into the red because you've already predetermined your loss do not enter a trade and say to yourself i'm going to get out maybe at this support or this support or this resistance you don't know what your loss or your gain is going to 
be at those levels. So predetermine them. Okay, very, very important. And when you do that, you'll get to a point then where you'll be comfortable walking away from your trade when you've said it because you already know how much you're going to lose and you already know how much you're going to gain if it goes to TP. Now, obviously, if you're scalping, then you need to be at the charts all the time. But if you are doing a bit of swing plays, like I am actually in one right now, which is a perfect example. Let's go over to NASDAQ. I'm in this play right now. Very, very simple play. Break at a trend line. I have a good few different strategies, but this is a simple break of the trend line. Retest, uh, previous low as my stop loss and the, 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 the high as my take profit. And we're currently uptrending. I'm in 120 USD profit and everything is already preset. I'll walk away and I'll leave this hit TP. Um, I have little alerts set. So when it gets to certain points that I can take partial profits if I need to. But you should be getting to a point where you're not super nervous when you're inside a trade. Okay, very, very easy. Thank you so much anyway for watching the video. That's pretty much it. It. thank you all so much for all the support i will be making a good few new videos soon okay who i am what do i do you know um how long i've been trading uh what's my star sign and what most importantly what are my strategies for passing tests and you know the funded challenges and all that sort of malarkey um uh, but again thank you for all your support my next videos will be managing trades when you're actually in them this was I suppose part one the rest will be managing trades when I'm actually inside the trades and then I will be going into my strategies thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe share with your dog and I will see you in the next video